Hey, so in this video I'm going to talk about the recent integration between Microthema and Oxygen. Uh, it's currently out in beta, uh, but it should be ready for general release at the beginning of March. So the main um, inter part of the integration really is just that you can load Oxygen inside Microthema. So you can use this option here in the view menu, or you can use the toolbar, they both do the same thing. So if I just fire that up, So we now have an instance of Oxygen inside Microthema and that means that we can kind of edit things with Oxygen uh, like this um, text here and then we can also target the elements with Microthema so I'll create a select for that and set a background colour and to, before you would have to have uh, say Microthema open in another tab here and Oxygen open in the left tab and then after making content changes you need to save it here and then refresh the tab with Microthema open and so it's just a nice time saver. Microthema will will sync up with the uh, responsive views in Oxygen so say we've got these here um, at the moment I've got the default ones loaded to load Oxygens and this will happen automatically if you install Microthema after Oxygen. So if you've got a site that's already running Oxygen with it activated and installed and then you install Microthema, you'll get these uh, Oxygen media queries loaded by default. Um, so I'm going to choose to overwrite these here, but let's see if you've already applied styles via another tab, then um, like then you, you won't want to do that because you'll lose them. Um, instead you can uh, like rename queries so that they match Oxygen's labels. Um, I'll just fire up Oxygen up again. You can also um, just edit, if you've already got some existing media queries, you can edit the, the max width to match that of Oxygen, which I'll just show you all of them here. These are the defaults. I think Oxygen's going to allow you to um, customize these in a future update. Um, but while I've got these open, I just wanted to draw your attention to this thing here. This is basically what syncs the views. So, um, and you can choose uh, to assign these. Um, Microsoft will do this again automatically when you load uh, a set of media queries, but um, it's useful sometimes if, you, if you're not using this set here, you've already got some media queries with lots of styles to kind of manually link up, say, phone landscape, so that would relate to, uh, let's see, like, uh, say this one. Um, so what Microsoft will do is when you uh, notice if, if I change the, the view in Oxygen, it will update the tab and vice versa. So if I switch between these two, you can see it it switches to the correct view in Oxygen. Um, so that means that if you wanted to, say, use this advanced pane as some styles background, they would be included um, just for, say, this specific screen size. And if you went up to Microthema here and made some changes, um, it's, it's automatically kind of following what you're doing here, and so it automatically have the fields ready for you. Uh, also it's kind of, um, you'll notice that the ruler starts at the beginning of the oxygen preview screen um, and the structure tab on the right will adjust accordingly. Um, so you can still use basically the oxygen interface in the same way that you would normally. Um, and that's, yeah, that's the core integration really. Um, so that should that should be a big time saver to anyone that's uh, using Microsoft and Oxygen together. Um, so we've talked about the uh, oh yeah. So one thing actually before I move on, the the previews will match as well. So you see how this this media query here is less than seven six eight pixels, and that means it's it it actually covers the this amount of area right up to here but Oxygen um, shows you kind of in the middle uh, at 480 pixels and then say for the phone one which is 480 down it's kind of a bit a bit down again it's 360 pixels and so Microthema is one benefit of, of linking the Microthema's tabs with Oxygen's is that you get a consistent preview so um, normally with Microthema if we had a media query that was max width 479 it would show you the preview at 479 pixels rather than kind of some arbitrary amount in in the middle so that that will keep things consistent uh, okay so the other thing is some speed improvements um, I noticed when I 
started playing around with this, the oxygen loads a lot more HTML um, when it's active than when the, the final page is rendered, which I guess isn't too surprising. And so I needed to, have to find a new way of um, linking the elements on the page with the stuff shown in this pane here. So, um, and I did, and it's actually just going to make Maxima quicker in general as well. Um, so you should notice some nice speed improvements when you're using this pane on the left. The Styles tab still might be a bit slow. It's not giving me a warning here. Microsoft only really tells you it's slowing things down if it takes a second or more. And this looks like it's taking about half a second. Um, and so I recommend uh, having the Styles tab open just only when you need to actually look at this information if it's useful. The rest of the time just have the uh, computer styles tab open because you'll just find that um, the selection process is a bit quicker um, even with oxygen active. Uh, so that's that point. Oh so the, yeah so the other thing is if you've um, if any of you have tried uh, adding some custom CSS when you're working with oxygen you probably would have noticed that um, there's like lots of extra stuff in the HTML compared to, say, when you're viewing the, the site, uh, just like on the front end of the site, I'll just show you now. Uh, so what element did I just click there? Uh, so on the, on the title here, oh, let's go here. Um, I'm not sure that's the right one, but say you've got you've got pretty clean final output for Oxygen's pretty clean. You've just got um, a div with some classes and some text. Whereas here you've kind of got like all of this stuff, um, ng model, etc. So um, it can get a bit confusing if you're trying to figure out exactly which element to target. But Microthema with this pane here just cleans all of that stuff out. So it's a bit easier to match up. Okay, I can see the text office is parties lasting outward, and I can see yeah I'm on the right element here because there's not too much junk in the way. Um, so that's another advantage to using uh, the integration feature. Uh, let's have a look. Oh yes, and also, so let's say I've got, uh, I'm going to create a selector for this now actually. And then um, in Oxygen, I'm going to set the text color to uh, red. And you'll notice that Microthema um, is keeping an eye on what's happening in Oxygen, so it updates the UI field just to give you the this this bottom green thing shows you the computed value is green. Um, so that's quite handy for things um, well for just keeping the user experience consistent. Um, also, like things like grid, um, when you're at, that's that's one reason why you might be using Microthema is to build the columns and divs with with Oxygen and then style it into a nice grid using Microthema's grid control. And I'll create another video uh, specifically about that. So, where are we? Oh yeah, and okay, and this is quite a significant improvement as well. Um, so, when, let's see if I can find it. It's a good example, I'll just go to full screen. Um, okay, yeah, so, so say we've got these three boxes here. The way Oxygen outputs its HTML, um, like I showed you here, it often um, uses an ID, it doesn't always use classes, um, and so Microthema wasn't always picking up, um, if say I wanted to target the text, um, all three of these boxes, uh, not just the single text, it wasn't always finding the selector, so the, I've updated the selector detector algorithm, so that now it's much better at finding uh, like groups of related elements um, like this, so you should find that that's really helpful. Uh, and finally, um, this is something that's not, that was already, that's already been in Oxygen for, uh, sorry, in Microthema, an update has been up Microthema for like a month or so, but I just thought I'd bring it to your attention now for completeness. Um, this setting, load Microthema CSS after Oxygen, uh, again this is on by default if Oxygen is already installed and active when you install Microthema, but if you haven't done things in that order, then you can just make sure this is set to yes, and that will load Microthema's style sheet after Oxygen's, so that um, the selectors can be exactly the same in Microthema and Oxygen, but Microthema's will override Oxygen's due to them coming later in the source order. Um, so that's another important thing to put on. Uh, one thing you might notice um, is that there's no 
got the top ruler with microthema, but you haven't got oxygen normally comes with one when you're in one of the responsive views. Um, but that's disappeared because well, we don't need two rulers. And also so is the zoom functionality because um, if we're using microthema's media queries, um, then yeah, the zoom functionality doesn't really make sense with uh, the kind of the ruler system microthema has already got. So just in case anyone was wondering where is that, that has been deliberately hidden. Um, if you think it shouldn't be, you can uh, let me know. But I think hopefully you should be fine just using this top ruler. Uh, and I think that wraps everything up. There's um, I'm still, well, people are testing this. I'm, I'm going to be adding little, uh, fixing bugs and adding other little extra features. Um, one thing people asked for on the Facebook thread was uh, there are various questions about kind of integrating. If I create a selector in Oxygen, can it somehow be synced with Microthema? So I'd class that kind of an integration as, as a data sharing integration. I'm staying away from that in this beta, mainly because I don't think I could do a, uh, an implementation of that that I would be happy with that would kind of be a good user experience. Um, so that's why I'm staying away from that kind of integration request at the moment, at least. Um, there's still lots of other uh, general improvements to my theme that I'm going to be working on in the next few months, so that's why. But um, yeah, I think that wraps up this beta. So thanks for watching.